Hi there, my name's Annie Sloss and thank you for tuning in. This YouTube channel is here for the purpose of sharing with you useful ideas for individual and group therapy. And today I'm going to talk to you about establishing group guidelines or rules in a way that's fun and creative. Group guidelines can be so very dull for facilitator and participants alike and there's no need for it. The group guidelines are essential for our participants to feel safe, to know what can be said, what can't be said and how they're expected to relate to their other group members and what kind of interpersonal boundaries they should maintain with them. So we really need to spend a lot of time and attention on this. So I find that if we just give people a piece of paper with the guidelines or we write the guidelines on the board, the group can be a really lifeless experience and then participants don't get to really pay attention or to connect with those group guidelines and that's where we can run into trouble. Before I start any group guidelines, I always want to get my group members to get to know each other a little better. So if it's a talking group that I'm running, I'll just invite group members to chat to the person next to them and find three things in common that are nothing to do with the problems that have brought them to the clinic and then to introduce them their partner to the group. This has never failed me. It's such a lovely experience for people, even though they may balk at it at first. And on the first day of group, people are so filled with discomfort. They're highly tuned into what's happening inside them and they really just want to find commonalities with others. So this is a really beautiful, safe way of getting people a little bit connected before we start to move into the rest of the group. This can be done creatively, or it can just be done with talking. So group guidelines are often given to people on a page full of white and black, and it's very unengaging. So the first thing I like to do is I like to print my guidelines out with really bold text onto cards and perhaps laminate them or decorate them, but definitely have the situation colored. Colorful is kind of my bottom line with these kind of cards. Then I'll spread the cards out on the table or on the floor, depending on what our setting is, and I'll invite group members to spend a little bit of time with those guidelines and to select one or two guidelines that are important to them. And then if we're running a talking group, I'll just invite group members to read out the guideline that they're speaking to and to tell the group what it is that's important about that to them and why. So already this can open up a little bit of rich discovery about people's group experiences in the past and a little bit about who they are or what their vulnerability might be. The guidelines that don't get chosen, I will attend to myself and I'll just fill in any gaps that aren't being spoken to. If I'm doing this in a creative fashion, then I'll invite people to do the same thing. Our introduction will have happened by perhaps inviting people to flick through a magazine and, and choose an image that speaks to some of these things that they might want to share with themselves about the group member that are nothing to do with the problems, as I mentioned earlier. And then we'll do the same thing with the group guidelines. I'll invite people to select group guidelines that matter to them, and then I'll get them to flick through a magazine and find some images that speak to that guideline in some way. It doesn't have to be a direct connection, just something that evokes that for them. And then we'll be creating this beautiful collage. We'll start with the layer of images that speak to the interests or things about the people that have been mentioned that are nothing to do with the problems that bring them along. We'll paste those down and I'll invite people to then draw lines connecting their image with the other images that they have something in common with. So already we're sort of building a sense of connection visually as well as interpersonally. And then we'll come along with the group guideline images and we'll lay those down, giving each participant a chance to speak about them, just as I mentioned earlier, glue it down on the collage and write the text in their own words about the group guideline. So at the end of the day, we have this beautiful collage that speaks of some elements of each individual, as well as the group guidelines that are gonna hold the group. And then we can keep that on the wall and it's generally a really pretty experience. Um, 
the other thing about group guidelines is I really love to put them in my own words or invite participants to put the guidelines in their words. I think this is really important and it can help you to set the tone of the group. So the guidelines are clearly going to be about things like confidentiality and attendance and respectful behaviour, um, what can and can't be said in group and whatever else it is that's important to you and the organisation within which you work. Um, if you're running a special group like art therapy, then you might also have some guidelines that speak to that particular group. But whatever the guidelines are, I like to make them friendly and warm and fit with the kind of culture that I'm creating. So for example, rather than just saying you must attend all sessions, I'll be saying attend all sessions. We're on this journey together. Um, and rather than saying you can't leave the group without saying goodbye because I'm responsible for your safety before you leave, I'll say go out for a breather, but please make sure you don't leave without saying goodbye. So you can see that I'm inviting you to bring uh, some creativity, some kind of hands-on choosing, and also some of your own words or the words of your participants in order to create that culture that you're looking for. Obviously, there's a whole lot more to creating safe and cohesive group dynamics, but I'll be speaking about that in future episodes.